We live in Doral, Florida, which is a place that has a lot of precipitation. Many times, the drainage system fails and the city floods. Flash flooding is the leading cause of weather-related death in the U.S. Not only that, but it also affects traffic. Our school is located by 79th Avenue, which is a road that floods due to sediment obstruction and poor drainage. So we looked to create a system that would help to prevent that or to stop as much of that happening. To bring this project alive, we divided our class into different teams, depending on their strength. Kids doing things that probably they didn't do before, talking directly to the people from the city, having the mayor involved. We made sure that we did a lot of research and then we knew that we had to get some guidance and help from people that actually knew more about this. When the engineers came to our school, our student had a lot of questions for them. The City of Dural Stormwater Department, we explained to them our project and they explained to us how the whole process in making these stormwater systems work. This project could definitely benefit our city to notify our department when certain structures are required of immediate cleaning and maintenance. We will place our prototype inside the drains. To detect sediments in drains, we will use a LiDAR sensor. The sensor will send laser pulses which will be reflected back so that the sensor calculates the time it took the laser to be reflected. This is called time of flight. The sensor will be connected to a microcontroller which will interpret the data obtained. The data will then be sent to a receiver through IoT. Then we will send the data to the cloud and then from there we're going to make a website which is going to be accessible to people from the stormwater department so they can see which drains have to be cleaned first. Currently, the city of Doral doesn't have any technology into the drains. With our system, using advanced technology, we're going to be able to send information to the stormwater department. It would help us reduce maintenance costs citywide, specific structures that increase flooding. It's a great idea. It's an idea that saves money. It's an idea that makes it more efficient and effective. And it's an idea that makes the city safer. It's really fun being able to like figure things out when we look back and see like the first steps and how like we have the finished thing now. Through STEAM, our students were able to put together a solution to a real life problem. They were using science, technology, engineering, math and arts to develop a device that could actually work to solve the flooding problem in our community. That makes me really proud.